back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make uh, a kimono jacket like a duster so this is what i'm going to be using two yards of fabric almost two and half of uh, yards of fabric my scissors and then my tape so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold the fabric into two you might need about two and a half for this so what I did, so this is the way the fabric comes, right? I already folded mine, so it comes this way. I already folded it into two, right? And then you, you, you're you supposed to check if, because the measurement I'm going to be working with um, for the length of the uh, jacket is supposed to be 39.5, right? So I made sure to add about... Uh, 1.5 inches to the end of the fabric so this is the 1.5 so i folded the fabric into two so basically i measured 1.40 1.5 inches into two right and then folded it this way because normally the fabric is folded by one yard as in 36 inches but i just did mine 42 almost 42 inches into two right and then folded it and cut it out so the front piece here is 42, the second piece here is 42. So that's the way it's folded. The next thing I'm going to do now is to flip it this way and fold it on itself like this. This way. And then after folding it into two, so now you start to cut. So guys, now that we've cut, now that we've folded it, the next thing you're supposed to do is to come to the neckline, mark about three inches, and then come down this way, mark maybe three point five inches this way, and then mark it this way. The next thing I'm going to do now is my neckline is uh. My neckline, my shoulder measurement is supposed to be six, uh, 16 inches divided by 2, that will be 8, right? And then I'm going to um, add, after that you check the length of the sleeve you're working with. The length of the sleeve I'm supposed to be working with is 10. So the 16 inches I got for my shoulder measurement divided by 2, that's 8, plus the 10, that's 18. So I'm going to try to fit in the 18 here, plus extra inch for my... Uh, uh, for the folding the sleeve so it will fit in here so the next thing I'm going to do is to come down by about 1.5 inches here right and then connect connect the this point to this line of the shoulder here so I'm going to put it this way so you could see so basically I'm going to keep it this way so Remember, this is the end of your sleeve, right? So you come down by 1.5 inch on this side, and then you connect this line here to this line, right? You try to connect it maybe with a ruler. But I'm just going to try to use my tape to make the connection. So this is it here. You try to connect it. And then after that, the next thing you're going to do is to I already know that I want my armhole to be, because my armhole is uh, 20 divided by 2, that will be 10. But I want it very open, so I'm going to make it about 11. About uh, I'm going to add, make it 13.5, right? So I'm going to mark here at this point here. So that means I added 3.5 inches to it, right? And then the next thing I'm going to check now is the the width that I want to work with. So the width that I'm working with for this jacket is going to be about about let's say uh, 14 inches plus extra one inch for seam allowance that will be 15. So. I'm just trying to make it as loose as possible. I'm not working with maybe my my bust measurement or anything. I'm just trying to make it as loose as possible. So, so the same measurement I used here is what I'm going to use down to the end. So 15 inches here. 
I'm going to mark another 15 inches here. Because I'm not trying to make it fitted. It's just going to be a straight, loose-fitting kimono jacket. Because if I'm trying to make it uh, smaller, or if I'm trying to make it have some shape to it, then what I'm going to do is, at this point here, divide maybe your bust measurement by four, and then add maybe two inches on the on the bust. Maybe come to your waist, form uh, four divided by four, add two inches. Come to your hip, divided by four, add two inches, and then you curve it and cut it out. But I'm not trying to make the one that I'm going to like that's going to have a shape to it i'm just trying to make a straight kimono jacket so the next thing i'm still going to mark all the way to the end uh, so guys as you can see i've marked what i need to uh i've marked the 15 inches all the way down it depends on you what you want to use maybe if you want to do this you can just check your hip measurement right your hip measurement divided by four and then you could just maybe add, uh, maybe you could just add like extra two inches to it and then use it all the way to the end. But me, I'm just, because uh, that's what I actually did here. So that's how I got the 15 and use it all the way down. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to come down here on this line here, mark like one inch down one inch down on the line that goes down this 15 inches mark and then curve it all the way this way so now i'm going to cut this out as my sleeve i'm going to cut this out just so you could see how i'm going to do that start here get here get to this point here curve it and then go straight this way. Oh, I think I missed one. So guys, as you can see, I've cut out the jacket. So now the next thing I have to do is to uh, come down by about one inch or, or 0.75 inches and then connect it this way for the back neckline. This is going to be for my back neckline. And then when I do this, I'm going to remove one remove one piece of this jacket here so i'm going to separate it so now i'm left with one and that this is going to be my front piece here so what i'm going to do now is to come down by about 12 inches down here and just try to blend it in it doesn't have to be just 12 inches on the dot it can just just put my tape at this end here so as, I, as I'm looking at it now, I think mine will end at about 15.5. So just blend it into the neckline here. And then connect it up to this line here. Right? So this is going to be my neckline. And after this, I'm going to separate it. try to blend it in so you don't have a sharp end here you see I blended my in and now I'm going to open it up this way up to the end so this here is going to be my front the two front panel that I'm going to be working with so what I have to do now is I bring back my back panel the one that I kept aside before open it up right and then take this uh, this front panel and then attach it one at a time so basically i'm going to put this one here put it this way and then sew it together right but remember it's right side uh right side facing each other i'm just trying to show you guys so i'm going to put it this way on the sewing machine here this way I'm going to make sure to start at this curve because as you can see there's a curve here so make sure you start at the exact point here so I'm going to start right on this point and then close it up this way close it up fold my sleeve fold the end here like when I finish closing the side I'm just going to fold it one two all the way around and then when I'm done with that I'm also going to cover this side like 
sew this side close do the same thing for the other end this side too i'm also going to do that so i'm going to do that on this side close it up fold the sleeve and then finish up to the end so i'm going to do that and then come back so guys i've gone ahead and closed up the side folded the sleeve so now i'm going to finish up the neckline so for that as you can see this is what it looks like at the moment so let me set this aside the for and i also cut for my pocket so basically what you're going to do is cut about maybe nine inches width of fabric and then the length will be uh let me check what the length would be so the length would be about except you want your pocket even even bigger then you might add so the length of your yours will be about 11 inches 11 inches length and then 9 inches width and then what you're going to do is take up the upper part fold it to give you this thicker uh band at the top part and then you go to your jacket and then you sew it on first of all you pin it down and then sew it on for me where i'm going to sew it on is 15 inches down from the uh, 25 inches down from the shoulder so i measure from 25 inches from the shoulder here down here so that's where i'm going to put in my pocket so i'm going to place it somewhere here you can measure on yourself after making the jacket put it on and then try to try as if you're trying to put your hand in the pocket and know where it fits better for you and then mark it there so for me i'm going to be using about 24 inches or 25 so uh or you can even bring it up for that and i make mine 20 so that when you put in your hand it goes in about that five inches deeper so i'm going to make mine 20 inches so the next thing i'm going to do is set the pocket aside and then cut out what i'm going to use for finishing the neckline so so guys the next thing you're supposed to do is take your tape and measure around the neckline all the way right i have 39 here and then you keep measure measure it all the way around and then whatever you get you go back to your fabric and then cut that amount out so for me i'm going to cut out I didn't measure mine, but I'm just going to cut out as much as I need. I think I'll, I might need maybe three of these. But the width you're going to be, I'm going to be using is about five inches width, so that when I fold it, I'll have like a, a, two inches on each side. Half an inch will go in as my seam allowance. So that's what I'm going to do now. Finish the neckline. So basically, what I did was the whole strap that I cut out, I folded it this way, placed it at the end of the fabric, and then sewed it all the way round. And then when I'm when I finish that I I ironed it out. So the next thing I'm going to do now is this um excess fabric on the inside. I'm going to trim it out and then make a stitch on top all the way around. So that's basically it. So this is what it looks like. I've added my pocket. So and then I also folded the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.